This video was voted on by our users on the Discord server this weekend. If you want to cast your vote, please jump on our Discord server every single weekend to vote for Wednesday's video. You can find a link to the Discord server in the video description below. Managing updates for Docker containers can be a little much since there are some containers you can safely update and others which have more frequent breaking changes you want to closely monitor. Unless you want to manually check every container on your server all the time, there needs to be a simple update management system which allows you to update some containers automatically and some on demand. Enter Tugtainer, an application for automating Docker container updates with a web UI. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to deploy Tugtainer on TrueNAS using Dockage and show you how to set automatic and manual container updates. Let's get started. Starting out on our TrueNAS dashboard, we're going to want to create a data set for the Tugtainer configuration file to live in. So go ahead and click data sets in the left side, go to your configs data set under your tank pool, and then click add data set in the top right. I'm going to call this Tugtainer. And I'm going to leave the data set preset as generic. Click save. When the warning comes up, click return to pool list. Now in the bottom right in the permissions section, I want to click edit. Then I want to change the group to apps. And I want to make sure the group on the right side has all three checkboxes checked. I want to uncheck the two boxes for other. And then I want to check the apply group checkbox under the group apps and then click save. Now let's go over to my wiki and in the top search bar, type in Tugtainer. Click the search result and then copy the Docker compose file here. Jump over to Dockage. Click the plus compose in the top left to start a new stack. Give the stack a name. And then paste all the information for Tugtainer. Click deploy. Once Tugtainer is up and running, go ahead and click 9412 in the pill. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a password for our admin user. Click save and then sign in with your password. By default, when we log into the dashboard, we are taken to the container section where we can see all the running containers. This may not show all of your containers because containers which are not running do not show up on this dashboard. We get a really clean column layout here with our name, status, health, the check, update, and action button column. The check column determines whether or not Tugtainer will check if there's an update for that container. The update column can be switched on and off to tell Tugtainer to update a container where the check is on. You can also do this manually by clicking the check button here on the far right. We can search in this list by name or ID of our Docker container, as well as change the sorting of this column by alphabet, status, health, and whether the check or the update is on. Let's make sure at the very least we're checking all of our containers for updates, even if we're not actually updating them. So what I'm going to want to do is click the check on for every single one of these containers. Now all my checks are turned on. Let's turn updates on for like Boxar, Dazzle, Flare Solver, and Homey. I can manually start the update process now by clicking the check for each one of these four. However, this is also going to do this automatically based on a cron job. Expand the menu by clicking the hamburger menu on the top left corner and then go to the settings tab. This is a cron tab expression to show when these containers are going to update and by default it's going to happen at midnight. When it updates, we're going to have the option to input a notification URL here and it takes a variety of services because this uses a prize. A prize contains just about every single type of notification service on the planet. We have the ability here to also add other hosts. So when I expand the hamburger menu on the left side and click the host button, we can see here it's running on the local host. But if I have other servers running Docker containers, I can add them here and also see their Docker containers and manage their updates all from one UI. In the images section of the hamburger menu, we can see all of the images that are downloaded on my server currently, and I can in one click prune the images that aren't being used. This will remove images that are just sitting on the hard drive and taking up space, but aren't actually connected to a running Docker container. While its interface is simple, it performs a powerful and necessary job by giving users a straightforward interface to manage what could be a big job. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you would manage your updates like this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates on all the latest videos. If you want to have a longer conversation with us, jump on our Discord server. You'll find a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, stay curious.